Welcome back to the old Bilson show, eh? Well, boys and girls, I totally just coughed you guys over, and myself I did. I put in a friggin' accessory access point to the back of the old Silverado. Took me about, I don't know, a couple of hours, boys, and guess what? Data corrupt. For frig's sakes. So I lost all my footage from hooking this up, so hopefully I can talk you through it and show you what I did, boys. Because I really apologize. Just not having much luck with the cameras lately. Frig no. So what I end up doing here is making a mess. Always have a can of rust check protection when you're working on a Chevy Silverado because they're a rusty old son of a bitch in the box they are. Freaking right there. So always make sure you get yourself a can of that before you go tear apart anything because you want to spray everything before you put everything away. Oh, I got to take that off, boys. Why wouldn't I leave it there? Frig, how am I going to get to that? For the access to my point I did. Hey, boys, so hopefully you're out of the wind down here. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way, boys. And then I can show you what's really going on. You can probably already see it in the camera, but leave your comments below and hit that like button if you like how that looks over here. Hey, look at that, boys. That's friggin' decent right there. But anyways, get this out of my way. This out of my way. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need this. We're not gonna need that. We're not gonna need that. Not gonna need that. Not gonna need any of this shit. All this stuff can go in the garbage. Friggin' right it can. This can come off if I can get to it, boys. Because I uh, already mounted the goddamn thing, so I think I might have caught myself over I did. We'll have to see, eh? Alright! See if we can't get into here and take this off, boys. Just gotta go easy, careful, gentle, that's all. We have to need a ratchet, I think. Not that size. This is my original ground spot, and I forgot to pull it off before I mounted everything. Holy, I'm shaky today. I had to calm the fuck down, that's what I gotta do. Oh my god! Okay, boys, here we go. So, what I've done here... Drop the fucking camera. Because the fucking mounts are all fucking broken again. Fucking piece of shit. Motherfucker. Anyways, boys. Sorry about that. What I've done here is I've mounted myself a friggin' cigarette lighter port adapter and a voltage meter and a light switch. Okay. So, I know some of you are going to say, how come you didn't put in a friggin' USB portage thingy? You not enough room, boys. I am trying to work with something where it's not going to get hit if you're loading the truck with stuff. Because, see, the way it is right now, you can't hit her, boys. She's in. So, how I did it was I made this constant 12 volts. So, this never shuts off. This is on the switch with the lights I installed. There you go. Hey, check that out. So, it tells me 12.2 volts. I got four lights in around the box. And it's freaking decent, boys. Now, this tunnel cover's coming off, so I'm, I haven't got nothing mounted to that except for this. If I want to pull it off and plug it in to charge a phone, I can, eh? There you go. So that's freaking decent. So, what my plans are here, and I already have it at work, I just haven't installed it yet. I've got that tunnel cover so I can put it on when I want to take the golf cart with me, where I can take it off and on and off and on. So, you're going to say, well, you filled up your thing full of wires, boys. That's okay, because I got new caps for this I'm going to put on that cover the holes for the new tunnel cover and then when I put this one back on it will protect the body a little better instead of metal because I'm going to paint all this frame up and whatnot and this and that and the other thing but I got her all wired up down in there I got her all oiled up it goes down through boys and it's in behind the tail light is where I wired it up so it's out of the way of the tires and everything else so I got all the wire connections in here for that freaking right I do that's freaking decent I ran a 12 volt line right from front to back when it was up on the hoist and I got myself a fusible link at the front of the battery here, boys. So that's how you do her, and it's grounded to, just to the box, because the box is grounded, boys. That's a nice little job there, I say, if I can say so myself, eh? Looks factory, boys. Friggin' right it does. And I got lights for at night. I can see what's really going on in there. And I got voltage. In case you got low voltage when I'm charging the RCs, I can shut her down, and Bob's a friggin' uncle. Oh, getting low on voltage, boys. Start up the truck or shut her down. Why wouldn't you? That's what I did today. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I'm gonna puke because I didn't record the thing. I stole some stuff out of the old ox beam set they gave me. To wire that up, I did. So I gotta get some replacement parts. There's no sense in mounting that in the box. I don't need that many switches back there. <laughs> Frick, no, I don't. Just want a nice little stealth little job. It looks almost factory and uh, it pretty much does. And when the lid's shut, boys, I can reach in, flick her on, have a look at night, hey? Look, if she lights up good enough, I can see what's really going on back here. Freaking right, I can. Actually, it's better at night. I'll have to show you at night. But look at that. The switch even lights up when it's on, boys. Friggin' right it does. It's not as nice out today as I was hoping. Kind of chilly it is. So, and it's windier than But, hey, it doesn't stop the old, dirty old Bilson from getting out here and getting some duck. 
getting stuff done, eh? Frick no. Oh, I put some carbon fiber step sills in. Look at that, boys. To protect the old sill. Hey, did it front and back. Friggin' right I did. Look at this old girl, boys. She's in good shape, she is. Eh? Friggin' right it is, besides the box. The box is cocked. Just cocked right over. Which is normal for these pieces of shit. Eh? The boxes are always cocked. Look at it. I touched it up when I first bought it just to hold her over winter time. And uh, that's about it, boys. Look at that. Step, friggin' sills. How's my bodywork holding up? Let's take a look. Aw, oh, boys. Look at the bodywork. It's friggin' mint still. Friggin' right it is. Why the hell wouldn't I, boys? Other than that, we gotta get these welded in from a body man. Hey, we're gonna get a body man to do this stuff. Talk to Jamie at J&J &J Body Shop and he's gonna get her fixed up. I just gotta save up some coinage. But there's the new fenders right there for her, boys. Hey, there's the new quarter panels right there. Or box sides, whatever the hell you wanna call them. They weren't cheap either, a hundred bucks a side for frick's sakes. We gotta get her done. Cause that's about the only thing that's really punky on this truck. Sure, there's little bubbles here and there and whatnot and this and that, but it's an 07, boys. She's not brand new. She's a $3,000 truck. What do you expect? I've seen $3,000 trucks in a lot worse shape than that one. That's for damn sure. Freaking right I have. But I got to clean up this freaking mess. Mom's going to work soon. And then I'm just cocked over for the rest of the day. Okay, because Melly's got her friend over. And they're just driving me freaking nuts, they are. Anyways, boys and girls, this is just a short little video. I hope you like it. Hey, it's not much, but I apologize. Like I said, that it didn't record. And mom's going to work soon. And now, guess what dad's got to do? Entertain two freaking kids instead of just my own. I got to entertain two now. Why wouldn't I? Well, I might take them out for a little drive in this net and see what's really going on outside. Because I don't want to sit around and do nothing all freaking afternoon. That's for damn freaking sure. But hopefully everybody's having a good weekend like I am. And uh, not doing anything I'm not doing. And uh, you know what to do for now.